Hey Hawk fans, thanks for watching the spirit of 12.com. I'm here with the infamous Kenny Main. Kenny, so what are you doing back in Seattle? Uh, I live here now. I'm from here uh -huh. and saved up at the People's Super Stop and Shop bank account and then I took it out and we bought a house here. Okay, and I in Kirkland you said, but you're not originally from Kirkland, right? Where are you from? I'm from Kent officially, uh, Kent address, went to Jefferson High School, mm -hmm. Wenatchee Junior College. Uh, and then you were a superstar at UNLV. I was second string at UNLV. But I, got I think to he to, was a superstar. I got to go to school for free. So whatever good that was, however good that was. But no, I'm, I've, I've went away to ESPN in uh, 1994, been there a long time, and have endeavored to get back here, back around my family and friends and Mount Rainier, and here I am. Well, let's back up a little bit before ESPN. Now, you actually played for the Seahawks, is that correct? I played uh, for about 18 hours. I got to sleep. I <laughs> so played as a loose. Time. Yeah, I slept with the Seahawks at training camp one night. Um, I don't think we should put that on TV. Yeah. No, I mean in, in, a, in a good way. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I bunked. I roomed with Norm Johnson, in fact, the kicker. Really? Yes. Uh, no, I, I was second string in college. The guy who played ahead of me was quarterback. Yep. He was offered to come here, the guy who played ahead of me, but he turned it down to go to another team. Cunningham? Uh, no, Randall was behind me technically. Okay. Yeah, because he was a freshman. Uh, Sam King actually was his name. Okay. And so he went to Canada, mm -hmm. tried out there. And my coach said, why don't you look at this other guy, which was me. But I ended up failing the physical. Um, why did you fail the physical? Uh, my ankle. Wait, can we put this on TV or no? This part's fine. Had nothing to do with the sleepover. My, <laughs> my ankle doesn't work very well, but it's all right. I, uh, I got a job on TV soon after that. Yeah. Wait, you so say your ankle doesn't work very well. If I recall, I saw you on a certain TV show. I think it's called Dancing with the Stars. Looking for some hot stuff, baby, this evening. I need some hot stuff, baby, tonight. How did you get that gig if you're broken? That was five years ago. Well, I failed the physical just because they didn't want to take a risk on a crappy player. Okay. If you were a good player, they probably would have. Yeah. If I had known, I would have. But Dancing with the Stars would take the risk on a yeah. crappy dancer? Yeah. I don't know. No, they put me on this machine, the Cybex machine. You're supposed to go like this. To, I would have cheated. I would have gone hard on my bad leg and easy on my good leg. So you're admitting you're a cheater. I don't know. No, no. You sleep Seahawks. with Seahawks. You cheat. You are what, I mean, what else? Yeah, anything goes. No, I, I mean, when you, when you compete, I think everybody's that way. Not not out and out cheat. I don't mean like performance enhancers. I just mean you would do whatever you could to get the opportunity. But instead, I uh, got into television, and then I quit television. Went through my blue period. <laughs> I assembled garbage cans, sold prepaid legal insurance. Uh, nothing against anybody who's doing those things now. I just it wasn't for me. I was trying to get back in, and then uh, broke down the doors at ESPN. And yeah, I heard that you. Uh sent them a handwritten note that had two boxes that said, please check one if you'll hire me. Is that true? Fairly close. It was, it was typewritten, <laughs> oh, okay. and it was three boxes. The first one said, I'm, I told them I'm trying to determine what I'm doing with my career. Yeah. Check the appropriate oh, Yeah, up. check the appropriate box and send it back. First one said, stand by the mailbox. Contract's on the way. Second one said, keep up the freelance work, which is what they had me doing for like five years. And the third one said, we'll hire you about the time ESPN 5 hits the air. Nice. And they checked the middle box. Oh. Sent it back to me, and, and about a month or so later, I was hired. Nice, very nice. So, what do you do for ESPN now? Uh, God knows, well, but everything. a lot of people. Of yeah, honestly, it's just uh, I've sort of formed my own job mm -hmm. to my good fortune. They they like what I'm doing. These side things. I do a wider world of sports. We're traveling the world. Uh, do it's coming out in the fall, September, right? Yeah, yeah okay. September 17th, allegedly. Is that a funny play on wide world of sports? Uh, yeah, I, I added an R. I adapted that show. And then I got the football stories, which we've been doing for 10 years, a lot of them out here. Uh, some magazine, ESPN magazine, some horse racing, and it all. You're also an author, right? Didn't uh, you pin a book? Yeah, no one bought it, though. Oh, well. Yeah. Now maybe you will. Yeah. Go out, buy his book. What's it called? Uh, it's called An Incomplete... No, what's it called? Oh my gosh, no wonder nobody yeah. bought it. The author can't even remember the name. An incomplete <laughs> and inaccurate history of sport. Okay, so... Didn't do very well. Sorry about that. Now, tell me about Dancing with the Stars. How did you get that gig? I have no idea. The lady uh, for ABC... Dumb luck. Did somebody quit? No, the lady for ABC, who, Andrea Wong, was running the show. For whatever reason, she liked me and just called up. You want to be on? They were, they were hungry for anybody at that point. Now, do you know I was a dancer yeah. before? Yeah, for the Seahawks. For the oh, Seahawks. The yeah. Oh. So I was wondering, do you want, are there any moves you want to show me or teach uh, me? or? My, my dance was a sliding. It wasn't... It wasn't the cha-cha, right? Yeah. It wasn't a lot of up and down. So just would, and back five years ago, my ankle was doing better. But I would never do it again. They'd have to like add a zero to the pay. 
Oh, you get paid? I didn't even think you got paid. I thought it was uh, you get airtime, so. Uh, I don't think they like us to admit it. That's the only reason I did do it. We were buying a house at the time. I would have done anything at that point for that much money, but now they pay more. Yeah. Yeah, I can get on that show? Sure. Uh, I'm on every season. Jerry Rice and I and Len, the judge, we do this little fake sports cast, so we'll, uh, we'll mention your name. So tell us what you're doing here today. I'm playing golf. Uh, in fact, they're playing golf now. I'm sitting in a chair with you, but the other people are playing that golf. that kind of pull that I have? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Yeah, tournament started. So do you have any kind of um, strategy out there, or are you just going to gimp home. around? The movers are coming today with all our stuff. They're a week late. So my wife is real excited that I'm playing golf while the moving guys show up. Okay. Good time. So I'm making him late for the tournament. I'm making his wife mad at him. So I think on that note, we're going to say goodbye to Kenny Main and say thanks for talking to us. If you could give a shout out maybe to the 12th man. The tw I was one of the 12th men. Well, you always are then. No. You're not, you're not, was, past him. I got to lift the flag. It was pretty cool. We pretended that I thought I was on the team, like the 12th man in the game, and my daughter was the reporter. You can Google that. 12th people, thank you for having me.